Hi, this is Akhilendra Singh and in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this image puzzle game. So here we have these 9 pieces of images and uh, we have to rearrange them so we can get the correct image. And uh, to rearrange them, you just click on one tile, uh, click on another tile and click on this swap button to swap them. And uh, then we can just... Like this we can swap and when you get the correct image uh, you we get this alert that says uh, you won and you can restart the game or you can click ok which does nothing uh, if you restart it goes back to the original state and uh, there is also undo button so if you swap something and you want to undo it you can undo it and uh, here it counts the number of moves and undo is also counted as a move so on this screen we have a collection view here and then a swap button and an undo button and a move label so let's see how we can create this and also uh, in this collection view you can you can only select two images you can't select more than two images so let's go ahead and get started so i'm gonna create a new project in xcode uh, let's call it I'm gonna delete this storyboard because I'm not gonna be using it and also delete the main interface here and uh, let's change the simulator to iPhone 6 and uh, I have the completed project here and I am gonna be copying and pasting code from here but I'm gonna explain everything so first we'll go to the app delegate and uh, copy this code which presents the view controller that we have in our project so uh, let's go to the app delegate here and paste that code so all this code does is that uh, it, it takes a ui navigation controller embeds the view controller in it and then it just presents it so now let's go to the view controller and uh, here we are gonna have the code to create all the views so we have these views in our app so this is the collection view uh, swap button undo button and the level for moves so let's see let's go to the view controller and copy all the code from there okay so i have the view controller here and we also need to drag the images we are gonna need so let's drag all the images here so let's drag them in uh, these are just the pieces of images uh, i cut them in photoshop okay so let's go to back to the view controllers our questions image array is now filled with images so in in this view controller we confirm to the ai collection view delegate data source and delegate full layout and then we create uh, some variables here uh, so this is a constant question image array so we are gonna hold all the images here and uh, this is the correct answer and I am gonna explain to you how, how I got this correct answer and then we have a variable for wrong answer this is gonna hold this is just an array from 0 to 8 and uh, this is the wrong image array which is gonna be same as question image array uh, we are gonna use the wrong image array to uh, move the images around to show in the collection view but we are not gonna move any images in the question image array so when the user restarts the game we can use this question image array to show the original question and uh, then we have undo moves array uh, as you know we have an undo button here and uh, every action the user performs we are gonna store those actions in this undo moves array so we are gonna store here the first index path and the second index path and when the uh, user clicks on undo moves array uh, we are gonna take the last uh, element of this undo moves array and perform this this action and then remove that last element from here undo moves array is an array of tuples and then we have number of moves here to show in the num moves label then we have first index path and second index path here and then we set the title of the view here puzzle and then here assign the question image array to the wrong image array so initially they are same but uh, we are gonna mutate this wrong image array but we are gonna uh, keep this question image array constant so now here uh, we set up use so let's go to the setup use 
first let's let's take a look at what variables we have here so i have a variable for my collection view uh, it's declared in a closer then i have a variable for button swap button undo and the, for the label moves so here in my collection view uh, we have to initialize a collection view with a layout so i declare a layout here uh, we declare minimum interim spacing to zero minimum line spacing to zero and then we create a collection view here uh, with zero frame view because later we're gonna we are gonna assign it constraints and it's gonna allow multiple selections so that's it that is set to true and then translates auto resizing mask into constraints equals false so that uh, we can use these constraints to set the width height and then for the button swap we create a button of type system and we set the title we set the title level and return the button and same for the button undo and uh, then for the level moves we create a ui level we center the text and, we, and then we return the label so here uh, we have set up the constraints for the views so we set the delegate data source of my collection view and uh, we don't have this image collection view cell here so that's why it's showing error but we're, we're gonna have that in a while so we set the collection view background to white and we set the collection view constraints here so left anchor is gonna be left anchor and uh, it's gonna be offset by 20 so that it's not touching the screen it's a little bit off, off from the screen and same for the top anchor right anchor and the height anchor is gonna be the same as the width anchor of the my collection view and then for the button swap we are going to set its width constraint to a constant of 200 top anchor to the bottom anchor of the my collection view with an offset of 20 and uh, its center is going to be the view center height is going to be 50 and uh, we also added the target button swap action to it so whenever this button is clicked this action is going to be called and then we have the button undo uh, we set up the constraints and uh, we have attached this button undo action to this button and then for the label moves uh, we set it uh, to be under the button undo and then we set the it set its text to moves uh, and it takes this variable from the top number of moves and it shows it in the label so we have some collection view delegates here so let's look at them so we only want nine rows nine rows so we have set up nine here and uh, you are gonna have this image cell in a while so we get the cell here uh, deck reusable cell with identifier cell and then we set the image views image of the cell to wrong image or index path that item and then we just return the cell and uh, whenever a user selects an item in the cell so this function is called we are gonna first deselect the item and then we are gonna decide from this uh, which item to select so if first index path declared above is nil so we are, we are gonna first assign first index path to the index path and uh, select the item at first index path uh, if first index path is not nil then it's gonna go to go here and to second index path and uh, if second index path is nil then we are gonna assign the index path to the second index path and we are gonna select the second index path uh, otherwise if both are not nil then we want to deselect the second index path uh, assign the index path to the second index path and uh, select the second index path the current index path that was clicked so uh, if more than two images are selected then the second image is gonna sell the second selected image is gonna be deselected and the third image will be the selected image and that will go to second uh, that will go in the second index path i hope that makes sense uh, if you use a deselects an item this function is gonna be called and if has, he has deselected the item at first index path then first index path is gonna be nil and uh, if he has selected uh, the item at second index path then second index path is gonna be nil uh, here uh, we have collection view layout so we here we set the width and height of the cell so we get the width here collection view frame width and we return a CG size of width, width divided by tree height, or height is also width divided by series. So we want the images to be square and uh, one third of the width of the collection view. So now let's look at the uh, these button actions. 
so for the button swap it's a uh, you know it's action is to swap two images so it's gonna take the first index path and second index path and uh, it's gonna swap those cells so first we check whether first index path or second index path is nil and if they are nil it just returns so if they are not nil then we are gonna get the collection view and perform batch update on it and we are gonna move the item at the start to end so uh, this one moves the item at start index path to end index path and this one moves the item at end index path to the start index path and uh, then we have this close area which is called when the my collection has finished performing batch updates so when the animation is finished this function is called and here we can update our data source here so when we swap the my collection view items uh, it does not update your data source it just updates it in the view so you have to manually handle uh, this swapping of these images and uh, this uh, wrong answer array so what we are gonna do is we first we are gonna deselect the items at start and end then we set the first index and second index paths to nil and we get the wrong image array and uh, we update the data source here and we swap the start item and end items and uh, also uh, in the wrong answer array we wanna swap these numbers so that we know when we have reached the correct answer so we have this correct answer here and uh, when the wrong answer equals the correct answer then that's when the game ends and the user wins that's why we swap here the wrong images array and the wrong answer here and uh, we undo for the undo moves array we append this tuple first and second to the undo moves array so that we can undo the moves here we increase the number of moves and then we set the label moves to this text and uh, here is the check for the whether the wrong answer equals the correct answer and if the wrong answer is equal to the correct answer then that means uh, user has got the correct answer so we want to show an alert which says you won congratulations and then with an ok we add the ok action here uh, we, with the ok button and we set the restart button here and we in its action we have set up a restart game so restart game function is right here and it will just restart the game uh, here we add the ok action to the alert restart action to the alert and we present it here so let's look at the restart game so we gonna remove everything from undo moves array we set the wrong answer again to the original array of 0 to 8 integers uh, we then again want to set the wrong image array to the question image array uh, we set these two index paths to nil a number of moves will be 0 and we update the level moves text to number of moves which is gonna be 0 and we uh, reload the collection view data so that will restart the game and uh, here we have button undo action so if uh, there are no elements in the but undo moves array so this count is gonna be zero so we are just gonna return and uh, if there are elements in undo moves array then we are gonna get the last element of the undo moves array and uh, since this is a tuple array of tuples we can get the first element by dot first we can get the second element by dot second so we get the start and end index paths here and then we perform batch updates on the my collection view we move the items and when it finishes uh, we gonna swap the wrong image array we gonna swap the wrong answer uh, and then we are gonna remove the last element from undo moves array and uh, we update the move so uh, let's look at how I got this correct answer so when you have got this this is the wrong answer and uh, when you swap the cells uh, then you also swap the wrong answer so if you keep swapping the wrong answer uh, and here I have the print statement so you can just comment it out and you can print the wrong answer and uh, when you have reached the correct image uh, see what that wrong answer is and that's gonna be your correct answer so now uh, let's create this uh, we don't have the cell so let's create the image view cell file new file UI, it's gonna be UI collection view cell and uh, I'm gonna call it image view CV cell so let's get everything in the image collection view cell and paste it here okay so I have got the cell here uh, it's the uh, UI collection view cell and in the initializer we set up our views 
so setup views function is right here so in the cell we just we are just gonna have an image view and a border uh, which is highlighted when uh, when a cell is selected so here you can see when you select an image uh, there are a border appears around the image so that is what this border is I have the image view variable here in a closer and I have the border here uh, in image view we create an image we set the image uh, set the content mode and then we return the image and for the border background color is gonna be clear and we set the border color here border width to 5 and then we return the border here we set up the constraints so image view takes up the whole screen and uh, for the border that also takes up the whole screen so and initially it is hidden and here uh, we have a setter for the is selected variables is selected is already declared in the ui collection view that's why uh, when we declare it here again we have to override the is selected variable in the ui collection view cell so whenever it is set this function is gonna be called so if is selected is true then border is not hidden and otherwise uh, border is hidden so that's it there is two in the image view collection view cell uh, and i think we have done everything so let's go ahead and test our app so i'm gonna run the app okay so i have the app running here and uh, let's swap the images and see what happens so um, i think this is gonna be swapped to this uh, this image goes here this is not gonna stop. So uh, alert appears. We go and congratulations. I can restart the game. Okay. If I click okay, nothing is gonna happen. Just uh, alert is gonna disappear. So I'm gonna click restart. And uh, as you can see, our moves three moves goes back to zero, and uh, the collection we also goes back to its original state. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I also hope that you learned something. That's it for this tutorial. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.